be accessible at our road and our need. Father, God, I know that this is a very triumphant thing to introduce and into our hearts with prayer fighting for our need to serve the Father of our very need. In Jesus' most powerful name. Amen. Okay. 
The master is in need of it. Hallelujah. For those who are writing, please write. The master is in need of it. And I, I encourage the congregation, whenever you are coming to church, please carry your pen and notebook, your offering, the hymn book. Make sure that you write so that when you go home, uh, you continue to, to, to stand. So the passage that we have today is a passage that is talking about Jesus. So we are looking at the ministry of Jesus in the last phase of his ministry. In the first service, I said, probably we can liken this part to a 12 lap, you know, race. And so we can say this is the very last lap. So last last So this in his ministry we can call this is the very last lap. And we note that he's entering Jerusalem for the very I mean for the last time because his crucifixion took place after these events or in the very week if you want to see it from that angle. But from this narrative, we are told that as he's approaching Bethan, Bethan and Bethan, we note that he sends at some stage, he sends his disciples and he gives them clear instructions to go in the next village. And he says, go in the next village, you will find a coat. By the way, a coat is a male donkey, a young male donkey. And to eat, there's some excellence to eat. He says, which has never been used, bring it here. And then the disciples are sensitive to the natural way of doing things. And they ask, suppose the owner asks, what are we supposed to say? And he says, he simply says, tell the owner that the master is in need of it. Hallelujah. And so, they do not raise a lot of questions. But you know, as I was looking at this passage, something was running within me. And uh, what I was looking at, I was looking at a scenario, let's say to the Pukombo Nyai, and then Mualiteka, if take one, I'm going to and then you just see someone coming. I samba Kukakula. I think the best thing to do is Kabola. Omala, we push an insulate and gambe ftala Kabola. And so, with this risk involved, still they embark on their journey to go and do as they were taught. Obviously, we see some element of them trusting him, but also an element of authority that I would want us also to look at it from one aspect, and um, we see the events as they and, forth. and so they went and they found as the situation was or as he explained to them we are not told a pre-arrangement in other words we are not to say, told to say Jesus had agreed beforehand with the owner that uh, as you come everything will be like this and I want to believe that the world was not developed as it is today Technologically, I don't want to believe. So, when they be my cell phone, so could be in Ghana, obvious value to me name at that particular time. If you want uh, to use some strong language, I would say it was a, a primitive word then. And so, we are not, and the scripture is silent. All we are told is that 
when they went there, they found the things as he had taught them. And we note that the owner, I would call him the second master, I mean, he's the master of it to the donkey. And he says, what are you doing untying the donkey? And they say, the master is in need of it. We are taking it to the master. We are not told of any complaint. Scripture is silent. But we are told of any complaint. Uh-uh. But we are told of any Obviously, when you look at the whole thing, you begin to look at it and say, it could be, it is a one-sided story. Probably, umu inewa donke alishive ukutila uyuniesu uale posha ui miaba afwa ukakula dimbi, mwali haka mwenswai ngana talika dimbi kuti alanda fechi mwona afwa <laughs> those were things that I was trying to to build but as the passage proceeds we note that when the donkey is born Jesus climbs on it and enters Jerusalem triumphantly. This is a time of a big celebration and all the big people were already there seated. No wonder if you read from the, 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 the account of Matthew or the narrative of Matthew, you note that they even started asking, who is this? And they responded to Jesus uh, from Nazareth. Obviously, the, the question is, who is it? So it was like, Bonse, Balia, Bashmuchindikwa, Balia Bonse, Abakala, Nobotwachila, for Pisa. In our governance system, which President Nai Sakale, I'm a minister's once ever, but in a point, my president, I'm a junior's once ever, Fulena, Mwika. And then he'll be the last one to come. And so, in this scenario, all the big guys were there, they were seated. Those who were in the corridors of power already were there. And then he comes. And then they ask, who is this? Because obviously as he was coming as a humble king, not coming for war. Though we know that some people here were very expectant to say, he has come to overthrow the people in power. But he's coming and they are shouting, they are making noise, they are celebrating. And, 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 and the Pharisees ask him and say, please, tell your supporters to stop making noise. And I like the way he answers. He says, That's some serious authority. Imagine that scenario. So we draw three things from the passage number one we draw the aspect of trust okay and how does it come about look at the passage especially the unfolding of the passage that we have look at the first three verses they are entering a village they are yet to arrive they are yet to enter and he sends them meaning he sends his disciples and says Go and bring a coat you find tight. And when, when, when the owner asks, tell him that the master is in need of it. And then they embark on that journey. There's no way you are going to embark on a dangerous journey like that one. But when we look at the way and understand, bring into context how the disciples reacted, it shows that they trusted him. They knew who he was. They knew that he was a man of his word. They knew that he was a man who speaks and things happen. And so they had no worries whatsoever. 
elo shifwe ngati tuma fila ba fila fine efyo fufilo kuba and so we are being called even us today at a time like this one that we must trust him and that's where the challenge is ukumuchetekele in my work with the lord i have learned that it is easier to talk about god when things are okay na mushat filangu kasana ka ifi ba chila imbaba ichabanga na fuwa mani awe 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 ngani ababa ichabe na messi abale upwaba kuimbisha na yawe yawe kanishi na imina chi na imina palasia yawe yawe kuimba sana because if you don't have such an and people trust but let me tell you something even when there is uncertainty you don't know you are better of trusting him because it is you know there it, it let me put it in this way those moments are fatal moments where glory is seen yes that is the way i want to put it but yeah epo fin fine moneka kwati tafwe meta fine na bwino fine moneka fine dangerous nga wa muchetekela that's where you be able to see his hand aba taba ishibe echo bale ya mukusanga but why ma pantu nalanda abengi nga fine bwino nga alanda tulomfwa nga fya lubana tatumfwa but child of god they that trust in the lord are like mount zion which can never be shaken but abides forever i've learned something that sometimes the things that will happen they will even shake you but i've seen that you can never go down as long as he has spoken his word as long as it is him backing you he does not back out of his promises when he says go then you have to go when he says go and do it then know that you do it you may face the challenges of life but when he says go then go you are better off trusting him come check it out aba bantu mayo aba nga bali bapumaka mutontonka nyimwa yayi ngafe kombole kana chafu kulumbula ya kombole namuisha chalumbule chalumbule kutwa mwaka tapa mwena but namuisha ya kombole ile aba ile aba mul uku ngamwapita pa lumumba pa dia uku side kule so kudia kudia ida ya mwai mona ile te kula imwe ba lumbula ni mwe na ene ni ndumbula mumuti mwai mona ila mwai mona ila kombole ile pa so ya kombone apa papa na kali sikulwa elo mwaingira apa so apa ya kombone mwaisha elo no mtonto nganyo mu bakutuma emuli na donki muli amwe elo lile bakutuma muli elo no mba batira ngaba kuipusha batira ni onani ukutumira land but the master says his need of it imagine think of that scenario nakutuna kana vana tira ba bishop ngatamumfwa ya njebeni fie ngabwite wa Wow. but these guys they trusted him if anything i want to believe they knew that before they get there he was already there and he had already calmed the storm and so what they had to do was to just walk and say the master is in need of it takoni na vyaku twish so ka situation nga ka sunkan kuti tikira watira tikari mo muge tiri mo muge mo tiri tikari tikari ko nga tvavuta ta tikari ko kumuchetekera na chalala ndolu chelo na atira ina mayo na ali mwe balesa pafi achitika na atira oke kulira te mulandu na ngundeli la my emotions but tocho na mwe balatira ichetekera chena ta chifile cha apona simple so kulira chira kali pa wali la wa ka kontoka ko kavala ka pona ka temperature ka ka gwa ngaba ku pisha how is the weather watila the weather is low <laughs> but how is the faith ela watila my faith is stronger my faith is growing ah this is not a time to give up it is time to trust because it is the master who calls us and it is the master who sends us Ewe tuita. Nokutuma. 
Et Let's look at point number two. In point number two, I want you to see this. When he says the master is in need of it, he is not the owner, literally, of the donkey. There is someone who is the owner. Can you? They found much more energy. Now, now we now we Now we Hello, in the corner, Tuma. Now I saw fe. That's a normal yang. But in this case, let's take that is the scenario. And so as she comes and says, in fact, what we see is authority. And, and by the way, in our governance system, that is abuse of authority. That's abuse, actually. And, and some of you in the corridors of power, that's how you behave. Okay, let's, let's turn to movie cafe. Jesus Let's think together for some reason. I want to look at this. This is not your office. This is not your donkey. And so I want us to by the way, think and look at how we abuse people. And then you just send someone and say, go and collect. And when they ask, say, the master is in need of it. Are you the owner? And, and, and the master agrees. And probably the master paid all what he had done, huh? And unless he was a follower or she was a follower. But in this case, we are. So let's make assumptions. Probably Ali Tinati, Nganaka, and Ali Kutiwa Kutipa. Waf. Ah, Ali Badanger, Teodia. But some people, that's how they behave. When they're in those big offices, now they call. If I'm a monafe, I'm quite a plot, I'm a way. I want to buy South Cafe, but Tampa no Kupi, no Kupi, Manisha, and Inga Matimulande, Kusalum Bulafibam. See that we can if you never abuse power in such a man. I'll come to the positive part of it, but that's how some people behave. Just because they're in that power, could you say that you chose? It should turn say that Motoka, the upper company, could you say you could not have a local? Not that I feel local, you can't have a good time. Yeah, 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 the master is in need of it from another angle. That's not right. Let's have to have to lay a content. You come to salon. To allow money for the baby, you talk about she must feed the send the film. She send. Can take any other part. Some of the shit that was quite much more. But he just touched feed the shit. Boom. But sometimes we go beyond and simply says, look at that. We use our positions huh? and then we look at ourselves as if we are untouchable and indispensable. And then we say, Twale and catch tenet, catch tenet, let's have to offer. But let us look at it from a positive angle. From a positive angle, Jesus demonstrates that he is the owner of everything. And we are but just stewards. And so when he says, bring it, and the owner agrees, he is demonstrating that authority. And it is that authority, Bamayo, that you are supposed to exercise over the things that happen in your life. Physically. Philippians 2, I'm reminded of Philippians chapter 2, verse 8 to 11. For those who are writing, he humbled himself up to the point of death and death on the cross, on the cross. That at the mention of his name, 
every knee must bat what? And every tongue must pray that Jesus is what? Is Lord to the glory of uh, the Father. And, and that, is, that, is, that is authority that is in the name Jesus. And that is authority that was here. So, in the focus of the conversation, we could tell that in the Monapa, Ababa Fika, Vasenda, Nefia, Chitika, Tampok Chitika, Nefia Mukwati, or Kutila, AS, Mwasen, Doyo. And so, probably you may be going through a rough patch in your life. There are certain things that are tormenting you. Stand as a child of authority and declare that authority. Uwafia tuwa kwata ni mkuwe Ame nginga mulenda Mwenda kwa chita mwa kwata nensambu You have the authority The authority is in you You can speak to the mountains And the mountains can move You can speak to situations And situations will obey Because it is not you speaking But it is the cross that you carry Who speaks and so he sends them and says the master is in need of it and when he speaks the owner had no option but to obey how I pray that St. Matthews may be a congregation of authority how I pray that your family may be a family of authority how I pray that you may exercise authority over sicknesses over